Yeah, it's kind of short. All right, good five step pajamas, boys and girls. What page are we on? We are on page 62. Go there now, okay? We've already reviewed the previous chapters. Always make sure you review before you move forward because if you don't and you haven't picked up the book in a couple of days, you may have a few minutes in which you're kind of confused, okay? So that's what the event map is for. You reread it, it's a review to get you back on track to where you should be. All right, page 62, all eyes. You should see the words as you hear the words, right? Thea tried to review the situation. According to my calculations, all eyes, I'm not seeing all eyes on the book. According to my calculations, pick up the book. Pick up the book so you can be following along. We should be right near Treasure Island, she said. And then she pointed to a black and white dot in the sky. A pelican. That means we are really close. Now, think for a second. Don't yell out. Why would it mean that they are close to land if they see a pelican? Okay, think for a second. 15 seconds to think, please. All right, one, two, three, say it. Because birds stay at islands. Why do they stay near land? To um find food. To find food and also to be able to lay their eggs. Lay maybe and then also to land and rest, right? Yeah. Can they fly forever? No. No. So they've got to be somewhere near. So that's a good sign when you see one that you are close. All right, let's continue. Page sixty-two. Just then, Trap gave a loud shriek, and I jumped. What is it? Do you always have to shout like that? I complained. I've got an idea, he squeaked in my ear. And then he grabbed the trunk's handle, trying to lift the lid. What are you doing? Say it. What are you doing? Do you want to throw us all back in the water? I protested. Trap was waving his arms around in the air. Why are you flapping your arms? I shouted at him. Are you going to tell us you can fly now, too? Trap kept waving excitedly. Pajamas, belt, blue stripes, he cried. All right, stop right there. Put your finger there. Let's make a prediction. What do you think Trap has in mind? If you pre-read, you already know. But what do you think he has in mind, Lainey? He's going to make a sale with the silk pajamas. Okay, all right, let's see. Finally, he managed to rip my comfy blue and white striped pajamas out of the trunk. And then he tore them into two pieces. I really am a genius. I am so clever, it frightens me at times. My cousin giggled. He was beginning to sound like a rat who's eaten too many slices of American cheese. We'll just use this rag to make a sale. Rag? Everybody to read with me. Rag? You call this a rag? I screamed. These are my silk pajamas with silver buttons. They cost me a fortune. Meaning what? They cost a lot. A lot. Good. Let's continue. They have my initials embroidered in gold. All right, does anyone know what embroidered means? If something is embroidered, tell me. Um, Hunter. Does it mean like put in there in gold? Kind of put in there. If you have, it's sewn, right? Some of you probably have your initials embroidered into your lunchbox or your book bag or into your shirt. So if it's sewn into, then that's what it's referring to. It's a picture or design sewn into a cloth. That's actually going to be on your list too for your vocabulary that you'll get on Tuesday. Well, isn't that just like you to be so selfish, chap side? We're talking about a treasure here. And you're worried about your pajamas, Geronimo. You amaze me. I gnashed my teeth together. Don't call me what, boys and girls? Don't call me Geronimo. My name is Geronimo. Geronimo, got it? There was nothing left to do now but rig up Trap's pajama sale and take off. We were all terribly thirsty. My tongue feels like it got stuck in the sandbox at Scamford Town Park, mumbled Trap. I would give anything for some ice cream. Do you remember that ice cream Paul of the icy rat? The air conditioning in that place was always on full blast. You could freeze your fur off just waiting for your hot cheese sundae. Sweat dripped down my snout. Why, Trap? Why did 
trap have to go on about ice cream? I was starting to have visions of cheddar cheese sugar cones floating on the water. The next morning, a peal of thunder shook the sky. I licked my snout, and it was covered with drops, drops of water. The rain was pelting down like the jet of a shower. All right, that's a simile. What can we um, figure out based on that sentence? What is it doing? It's like rain. It's raining how? Pouring. What is it compared to that lets us know it is pouring? The jet of a shower. That lets us know it's not sprinkling, it's pouring down. I swallowed the drops that fell on my tongue. I was in mouse heaven. Thea and Trap danced their paws off. Does that mean their paws just fell off? No. No. What does it mean? They danced so much. They danced a lot. lot. Good. That's an expression. And then, as suddenly as it had come, the rain stopped. We hugged, then winding our tails together, we squeaked. Then together, mice forever. All right, 10 seconds. Discuss, well, about 30 seconds. Discuss with someone near you. What is it mainly about? 